Here are the new features for Altium version 22. First is active links. In Altium, you can use the at symbol to add any component to your schematic notes. And then when you click on that link, it takes you to the part. Next is multifunction pins. You can actually swap the names on the pins of any schematic symbol now. You just go to the schematic symbol, click on the pin name, and you can change its name and function. The next feature is not new, but this feature allows you to link to Octopart, which then takes you to a part uh, on the manufacturer webpage. The reason I bring this up is because I use Octopart a lot for my designs because it has all of the information in one place. I can download data sheets directly, look at them straight from the Octopart website. Also, I can look at the CAD models for the part and I can add it to a, an online bill of materials if I want to. And what I also like is I can check the inventory data for that part over time and directly download the schematic symbol and footprint for that part as well. All right, so this next feature is kind of small, but uh, I like it. It's differential pairs and you can use different suffixes aside from their typical default underscore P underscore N. Yeah, it's small, it's minor, but I enjoy or like that they uh, added that functionality and that flexibility as well. Okay, so the next feature helps with the design rule check and Altium Designer. Generally in EDA tools, the design rule check or rule, rule checking tool gives us these errors that we sort of have to interpret and analyze and then sort of figure out what it's trying to say. Uh, but with the board health check feature, it directly takes me to issues, uh, narrow pieces of copper, and it gives a more intuitive description to these problems. Next up is alternate part parameters. Before in Altium, when I would choose an alternate part for my schematic variant, sometimes it wouldn't show up, but now they fix that so I can see the information for an alternate part. And I really like that. So the next feature is using generic components just so I can do a quick layout without having to go through procurement or verifying that a part is actually in the company database. Very convenient. The next new feature is the enhanced via editing view. Okay, so when you're in your PCB editing tool, uh, the via stack up and everything, the visuals used to be pretty basic, but now they're more thought out, fleshed out, and it's easier to make thermal reliefs. So I like that. The next is design reuse, allowing me to place multiple copies of a circuit on my PCB. And for the high speed PCB designers, we have relative length tuning now. Okay, so if you don't have access to Altium, you can download Altium for free. The, you can use the free trial and also you get a 25% discount once you actually buy the software. And then once you get Altium, if you don't know how to get started, take my tutorial series where I show you everything from start to finish from schematic to PCB layout and subscribe to this channel if you'd like to become a hardware engineer.